This is Mr. J. Today we're talking about um, melting ocean ice. Um, this is our advanced video for Monday, March the 10th, 2025. And it's, of course, a global problem. And it's definitely a bad thing today. Bad thing. Um, you can probably tell from our picture. I think it's representing Ar Antarctica. Arctic Antarctica, maybe. The looks of it. Um, let's go right to our words first before we look at our summary. We have sea ice. Arctic, Antarctica, decline, reflex, heat, warmer, global temperature, third warmest, loss, 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 easy words today, animals, polar bears, penguins, and gas emissions, gas emissions. So scientists have reported that sea ice, sea ice, reached its lowest recorded level in February 2025. The lowest ever, 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 ever. Hmm. In the Arctic, sea ice was 8% below average, while in Antarctica, it was 26% below average. This decline is dangerous because sea ice reflects sunlight and helps keep Earth cool. When it melts, the ocean absorbs more heat, making the plant even warmer, right? So it gets warmer and warmer, and then more melts, and then warmer and warmer. Like a horrible cycle. Um, in, the, in the same month, global temperatures were 1.59% higher than before the industrial era, making it the third warmest February ever. The loss of sea ice also affects animals like polar bears and penguins, which need ice to hunt and live. Scientists say reducing gas emissions is necessary to slow these changes. Okay, so yeah, definitely bad news, hotter earth. And um, we saw our words. Let's go right to the questions. What percentage below average was sea ice in the Arctic? Arctic, Arctic. Why is the decline in sea ice dangerous? What was the global temperature increase in February 2025? Which animals are most affected by sea ice loss? And what do scientists say can help slow warming, global warming? All right, now we're going to do time-related words, all right, for the next week or so, time-related words. Second, we've done this before, but second has so many non-time-related words. So here we have our, our second. Can you guess what it is? Well, our time meaning second, a unit of time equal to 1 60th of a minute. Everyone knows that. But what about our non-time non, meaning? A person or thing that is next after the first or an assistant in a competition or duel, right? An assistant, a person here. We're, we're going to focus on that one, I think, today. And our pronunciation. Well, here we go. The, the spelling is S-E-C-O-N-D. That's the spelling. And then the pronunciation is, um, is a little bit different because we don't say sec- and ah, uh, we don't say the ah, uh, we say second, second. So we're gonna say it like this: second, sec, and sec, and then and and second. All right, with stress on the first syllable, two syllables stress on the first sec, and sec, and second, second. Okay, and um, some example sentences: the race was so close that only a second separated the two runners and our non-time meaning, right, which I like to focus on, the champion chose his best friend as his second in the duel. Second, second, second. All right, over to weather in Seoul. It is sunny with a high of 11 and a low of 3. In Beijing, there's a high of 12, a low of 0, and it is sunny too, partly cloudy. And then in Tokyo, it, there's a high of 15, a low of 8, and um, there is plenty of sunshine. There is plenty of sunshine, okay, in Tokyo. So that's it. We talked about our weather. We talked about second and, uh, unfortunately, melting sea ice. I hope you guys have a good Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.